Miss Isabella Thuria Agenda. Thank you very much for being with us here today at Africa Works. Uh, starting with the theme of, uh, of this conference, uh, Africa Works, for whom actually? Uh, definitely Africa Works for the women entrepreneur in, Af in uh, Africa. So we are able to impact other women with even to create more employment and feed the nation as well. Uh, as you speak about women, that Africa works for women, we see that you are more than 20 women coming from Uganda. Can you tell us a little bit uh, more about what you are doing here in the Netherlands and what you are expecting? As women entrepreneurs, uh, we're basically here to learn because in Africa we do things differently and we lack some of the knowledge and the skills. So we want to know how people in Europe do things differently. And also we've discovered that uh, most of uh, in Uganda, like the commercial banks, uh, they give us at a high interest rate of over 21%. So definitely finding people like angel investors and equity partners would definitely boost our businesses as they'll have maybe a smaller capital return on maybe the funds that they give us, yeah. So, uh, so you are here to learn uh, at the same time maybe to find uh, financial possibilities. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what you are doing as an entrepreneur? I understand that they call you the wine lady. Uh, what are you actually doing? Can you share uh, your beautiful story with us? Uh, the, um, uh, one of the things why they call me the woman, uh, the wine lady, is because I'm the only female entrepreneur in the business when it comes to importing wines in Uganda. Yeah, as you all know, that uh, to produce good wine, you need both the winter and summer, and you know Uganda is really on the equator; it's very hot. Yes, right. so we have been able to satisfy the um, need as Uganda is the third wa is the third in the six. world when it comes we to having a good drink. So the, the need is there and we need to satisfy the market. Uh, One by selecting more employment. So you uh, I understand that you import wine or do you produce do you also produce wine? No, we only import the wine. And uh, they uh, call you the wine lady. Uh, can you tell us your beautiful story and why uh, did it happen that they called you the wine lady? Uh, the reason why they call me the wine lady is because I'm the only female entrepreneur that actually imports wine into uh, Uganda. Uh, the reason is mainly because Uganda is a country on the equator and it's very hot. And to actually produce some good wine, you need both winter and summer, which we could not be able to get and produce in Uganda. So we had to give our clients the best quality wines. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, so I understand that you don't export wine, but you really import wines. And uh, from which country uh, mainly do you uh, get this wine? Uh, we get this wine uh, from South Africa uh, because one, uh, the time to bring the wine is one and a half months, but at least it's much shorter compared to getting from it from other parts of uh, Europe. Yes, and uh, most people in Uganda kind of really associate themselves with the South African wine because they're also good wine producers. Yeah. Uh, I also understood that you manage uh, more than 10% of the wine uh, import uh, of Uganda or the wine uh, uh, market. Can you tell us how you uh, managed uh, to have this and uh, which challenges did you face in order to become so far? Uh, mainly the reason uh, why we've been able to command 10% of the wine market I think basically, basically came from the part of really having a focused strategy. We, re we realized that most people, they import their wines from all, all over the world and we, we also wanted to do that but the thing is okay, that you find that you don't yeah, become reliable. So for hotels, they need someone to put, you know, someone who can have that constant supply, which we wanted to give them. So we focused on one brand, and we were able so to get the contract and so distributorship to do it all over Uganda. So no one actually can replicate what the work that I do in Uganda. So that makes me put all my energy. And you know, as young and women, we are very energetic. We push things, so we get it done. So that's how we've been able to push it to 10%. 
So that sounds really, really good and uh, it makes me smell. Uh, one thing I uh, can imagine is that you want to grow, of course, and you are not uh, for nothing here in the Netherlands. Uh, what are your expectations uh, in the future? How, how do, what do you see your business uh, after five years, for instance? What do you want to reach uh, in the future? Uh, basically, uh as I told you, uh, the time lag between South Africa and Uganda is about one and a half months. So what we plan on doing in the future is having the wine concentrate and then we pack it in Uganda. So we are able to create more employment, especially for the women, as well as have our reputation of being reliable suppliers increase. So thank you very much. And uh, the theme of this conference is... Uh partnership, a new way of partnerships. Um, what is uh, your v uh, vision as a businesswoman in Africa? What can uh, be the partnership between Europe, the Netherlands and you as a Uga Ugandis, uh, Ugandian and entrepreneurs? Uh, basically, uh, the partnerships that we are looking for in, in the Netherlands are equity partners or angel investors. And this is mainly because we are having a challenge of working capital because the cost of money in Uganda is over 21%. So here, I know in Europe, it's about maybe 7 to 10%, which will definitely boost our uh, businesses as women in order to reach more people and have more employment for other people. So uh, it was a it's really uh, inspiring story what you are sharing with us. Uh, what message do you have for people who are following us uh, when it's come to the theme Africa Walks? Uh, definitely what I can tell uh, the Dutch people is that uh, Uganda is the part of Africa and the potential of growth is amazing especially me who is in the wine sector really the economy is growing at a rate of six to seven percent the medium and income uh, at this table, invest, is there something that uh, income, you can uh, share that you took out of this level event? is also growing as well. So the potential uh, for so, so many much. things um, to happen, think, like uh, equity, agriculture, discussion. partnerships, friendships, it's really thank an opportunity for them to grow. Having...